Hey, yo, what's up, Quick TV here today? I'm going over Raid CTF for you guys, giving you little tips on how to play this map. And hopefully, you guys can pick up on a few things, uh, pick up on the rotations that you see on my squad doing on this cute little mini map in Codcaster. And, you know, I just, just keep, teach you basic things about the spawn system, how that works, how you push, when you want to push, how you pull it, etc. Lots of basic information. Uh, First tip I want to go with is be ready to play sort of any role in CTF. You need to fill in the gaps. CTF is all about rotation and working with your teammates, getting aggressive with them, and also camping them with them when the sort of situation permits. So anyways, as you can see, we're putting a little bit of pressure on my bait on in our base, and I should have been a little bit more careful and realized that our pool was open and we could easily have gotten flanked right there. Anyways, you see you gotta fill in the gaps so you see we have one guy watching pool, I'm in kitchen watching middle, I get double teamed so that's not good, and we had one guy at circle. So we're getting we're a little bit under pressure. Once you lose kitchen control on this side, you really wanna get back to your base and make sure they're not putting too much pressure to get a flag pull up. So I catch this guy trying to push our base. I know one more guy is B-ball. My teammates just had died from there, so I'm just playing it safe, getting regaining map control because I know we're under pressure before we push out and fill in the gaps. So as you can see, we're all playing a little bit of D, making sure we're not dying, not challenging anything stupid. I have some help from Krim right here, so we decided it's safe to pull out. But I, I don't know. I, I feel like we're missing a guy, so I'm still lingering around our base. And there he is. Flag. I see him pull. I rotate back and wait for him to make his move. That's, ooh, there he is on the stairs. Placer ends up dying, but you know, at least we're holding this fly guy here, and we have a teammate at pool, and I decide to push up kitchen. Bad timing. This guy runs around me and kills my teammate. So I have to pick him up, but luckily the fly guy comes at me, and I flag has been luckily returned. get that return. So, but they're still in our base. We need to regain map control. We're kind of struggling right now, but uh, as you can see, we're still watching all avenues of the map. Once they pull again, I rotate back. I know they're pulling middle. They so boom, one there. Boom. Our flag has been all right. Taken. Still don't have middle control though, so I'm ready for one more. This guy's shooting at me. I just I call out, call that out to my team. And who is that? Krim makes a great pull. He catches them off guard. He, he got past the guy that was pool. Weren't watching it. And crucial mistake on their part. And he takes advantage. And we get a flag out. Great play by Krim. And although I did not get that kill at the cutoff, I delayed that guy and made sure Krim was far enough to get the flag out without We've contention. Anyways, great pull by Krim. You always want to pull flag. it on glass side on this side, they as you saw him flag. do right there. The pulling circle or pulling middle can also work if your teammates are set up properly but if you push if you Our push the glass secure. side get behind them they're gonna spawn at the driveway on the right as you can see that guy that's guys are spawning circle right there on the other team that's what you want you want to pull it out go glass and that's the go pool side that's the easiest way to get the flag out with you know basically no contention if you do it correctly you want to push that spawn make them spawn out hopefully your teammates have circle control or middle control but or whatever and those are e easy cutoffs to get because they have to run to you. It makes your life a lot easier if you know they're running at you once you get that flag out. So pool side's definitely the more recommended side on both sides of this map, actually. So anyways, up 1-0. We're playing a good... We're doing a good job. We need a... I don't know why we keep dying in our base, though. We keep... Ch it seems we keep challenging stupid gunfights. We really need to rotate back, regain control, make sure they don't get a flag out in this, you know, last couple of minutes here. You our saw me just spawn pool taken. right here. That means they're in your they base canceling that laundry spawn, or you'll get that front laundry spawn, spawn as you see my team is getting right there. I do a good job getting that return. I realize yeah, every time if you spawn B-ball, they're in your base. Go back. B-ball spawn, run back. Laundry spawn, you're fine. Front laundry spawn, you're not fine. Run back. So hopefully, hopefully that you guys can instill that into your gameplay. B-ball spawn is bad. You don't want that. That means you're, they're in your base, they're putting pressure, not good. You see my teammates are overextending, you really want to try and overextend, at least try and contend a flag if they get it out. Hopefully you guys can go big and get a return, but, you know, they get this flag out pretty clean. We don't really have any teammates pushed up, and they're going to get this to sort of end the half here. We didn't do a good job of rotating back, and we kind of challenged some stupid gunfights in our base. Uh, unluckily, I had to reload right there. I would have easily got that three-piece and got the flag out, but, you know, what can you do? Great pull by Krim. We're going up... We went up 1-0, now we're 1-1, so we just need to, basically a new game coming into this half, and we just need to do a good job of filling in the gaps and rotating by looking at your minimap a lot and playing any role that you need to. Usually, 
guys see me pulling the flags, but as you saw there, I had to Stand basically down. pick it's up the cutoff roll. And, you know, I'm not slaying too well right now. I'm only... Okay, I guess I'm doing okay. But <laughs> I was kind of choking on the cutoffs. But as long as you delay those cutoffs, like, if they're not pushing past you, if you don't necessarily need the kill, Capture is I guess what flag. I'm trying to say. Delay, delay, delay. Wait till your flag guy is out, and then you can try and force it. Capture the until objective. they're, you know, in your advantage, if that makes sense. So as you can see off the break, we go, I go pool, one guy middle, two guys circle. Filling in all the gaps on the map, I get stunned, I call that out to my team. We have middle map control, that's really good. Basically on this side, you want to play pretty stagnant, and if you can get those kills and get in the kitchen, that's where you, when you really want to get aggressive. If you see your teammates getting aggressive and get in the kitchen successfully, kitchen slash money room, that's when you really want to start pushing up fast onto their flag and making a play happen. So as you can see, we don't have kitchen control right now, so I'm just playing my role. Filling in the gap, make sure they can't push out at pool so my teammates can just mainly focus on middle map. I have an SMG, I'm never going to win this gunfight, so I'm just, as you can see, I back up a bit, make sure I'm not dying, not challenging, that'd be stupid, just doing my job. I, one guy's cheeky, call it out, just leaving him there until we get kitchen control. We get kitchen control, so I'm like, alright, I need to help my team. Boom, get that middle map, we're good. In kitchen, now we need to get aggressive. Teammates are moving up, Ace gets a nice kill in their base, and I need to go. I need to go help out my teammate, he's putting pressure in their base, and here I come. He ends up dying, but that's fine. As you can see, that guy was worried about Ace. As soon as you get kitchen control, you can basically manipulate them into doing whatever you want. As you can see there, right there, I feel like that was a bad play on my teammate's part. They flanked around laundry, and they got the other team got that b-ball spawn and knew I was we there. Their so I got I ended up getting shot in my back. I feel like that wasn't really a heads-up play on my teammate's part. But overall, it's fine, we were just trying to make a play happen. And get a flag out but they kind of screwed me over anyways if you cancel the uh laundry spawn they're gonna spawn b wall behind me like it just happened right there and see i tried to go middle right there i probably should have gone pool as and you just saw the repercussion of it but once you get a flag out you know the other team is gonna overextend pillar side circle side and try and get into art building the building i'm in right now so by me running middle i was wide open and i Aix was the only one there to cut off the entire pillars, it, and there was three people there. I had no chance, and pool was open. I should have recognized that and gone pool. We would have been up 2-1 right now. Simple mistakes like that can really cost you and your team in CTF. But anyways, moving on. Acquired. As you can see, playing the role again. You want an SMG in this spot? Hell no. But as you can see, just holding him there. Holding him there. If you, it, Only fight them when you, they're at your vantage point, not theirs. I see a lot of people run to gunfights. You don't need to do that. Why are you running to get pointless kills that you don't really need? So anyways, I did my job of holding circle. I realized the entire other team spawned and I need to rotate over. Look, unlucky gunfight right there. I feel like a little three bar action came into play. But overall, we're doing good. We, we need to do a little bit more better on slaying. Your AR players really need to focus on not dying that much and building score streaks. It, especially if you have a lead. If your AR players can get on a streak, grab those score streaks, it makes, if you get a sentry gun, throw up some trophies in your base, you know, it's, it's going to make the other team not be able to pull a flag for a good, you know, couple minutes or so until they destroy the trophies and then the sentry. Anyways, as you can see, no kitchen control, which means we're not getting aggressive yet. Just holding my spot. Need to shift over to pool. Teammate doing a, doing a good job. Who is that? Placer. Good job, buddy. And boom. As soon as I see my teammate get around we laundry, I flag. make my move in kitchen, getting aggressive with my teammates. Last guy's Tiki. Call it out. Boom. As you can see, my entire team's working together. I looked at my minimap, saw we were getting aggressive, so I followed suit. Boom, easy cutoffs. Even though I died, flags out. Boom, we have the lead. As soon as you see your teammates going, you really need to push and make it happen for them. If you die, you die. You're going to spawn up in your base and still have control. If your teammates are pushing alone, they're going to end up getting screwed over if you're not helping them. And that's how you make plays happen. Do it together, not by yourself. You're not Superman. You're not going to always, like, uh, sometimes you'll be able to make a play by yourself, but on average, it's really just not going to happen for you. So anyways, this guy's trying to push up our pool side. He's a good player. He knows what he's doing. He's going to try and cancel that spawn, but we're too smart for that. Filling in the gaps right now. Watching middle. Watching weights. Watching hard side. Watching, you know, we're good. We have the lead. Nothing. All we got to do, 40 seconds, play a little bit of defense. Primarily, the other team is going to try and push up your art side on this map. Because it's obviously the easiest place to push into. But in sort of scrappy situations, they're going to pull it out poolside. Or they're going to pull it out middle. 
and you get the occasional pulled into arc to circle, but mostly you're going to get that full spawn once they try and cancel it. So if you see yourself spawning at the like front garage or at the driveway at circle, you really need to rotate your back, ro rotate back to your base is what I'm trying to say, and make sure they don't pull that flag out. Anyways, pretty good gameplay on our part. I did pretty much, I usually, you don't see me getting a lot of like kills that much. I had to sort of pick up the slang. Usually you guys see me play OBJ. As you see right here, I kind of was the cutoff player on this map while Krim was getting the flags out. That's just sort of how the flow of the map works. Um, you know, got 25 kills with slang, got four returns, and I was doing more of the slang instead of running the flags. Teammates all can, your teammates should be able to play any role depending on the situation. And that's how you're going to win CTF rotation, learning how the spawns manipulate, looking at your mini map, and, you know, just learning how to push with your team falling back with your team, getting those crucial kills in their base as well as your base. Anyways, guys, hopefully this tip video helped you guys out, taught you guys some sort of basics about CTF in general, not just the map, but little map tips here and there as well. As always, guys, subscribe to the channel. More videos coming out daily. Appreciate it, dudes. Have a good one. Peace.